guys, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your reading. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Hi guys, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much my darlings for joining me on your week ahead reading. It is the 20th to the 26th of July 2020. I want to show the cards that we're using this week. For your general reading this week we use the Tarot Grand Lux by Chira Marchetti. For your career reading this week, we use the Everyday Enchantment Tarot by Poppy Palin. And for your love reading this week, we use the Dark Mansion Tarot. Uh, for your spiritual guidance this week, we use the Secret Language of Colour Cards by Inna Segal. Uh, we also use the Law of Attraction Little Reminders Cards. And finally, we also use the spiritual guidance this week, the Crazy Sexy Love Notes by Chris Carr. Okay, sit back, relax, guys, and please enjoy the video. Hi, Cancer. Welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings from the Heart. We're going to do your week ahead reading now, looking at the 20th to the 26th of July. Okay, hi Cancer, welcome to Carol's Universe. So we're going to do your, uh, we're going to do your reading, okay? I'm going to try and shorten it a little bit as well, if I can, for you guys. Okay, so let's have a look. What's the general message this week for you guys? The Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is all about moving away from troubled waters. That's generally the kind of, um, how can I say, that's the general kind of, you know, mandate for this card. It's all about there being a positive shift. It's after that Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords is to do with facing a battle and arguments and upset and um, uh, fear and doubt and negativity and dealing with some pretty kind of uh, uh, nasty individuals when you look at a Five of Swords card. If you're dealing with a Five of, Swords, Five of Swords person, they're usually mind players. They like to play mind games. They're usually quite abusive as well. They can be quite rude and quite sarcastic and that type of thing. Or if you're dealing with a situation with a Five of Swords, the Five of Swords can be something about a battle or something like that, or facing some form of conflict or challenge, because it's a, it's not the greatest of the swords, to be honest. However, the Six of Swords moves away from that. So this is moving away from troubled waters, the Six of Swords, into somewhere more calmer. Um, I think that you're... I think with the... Because the Six of Swords, I mean, the... This is a message. So really, when we look at a message, we're looking at giving you some form of advice. So I feel that the message this week is that you are very close. And it's interesting because the Six of Swords, I often look at where the Six of Swords faces. Now, it's facing out of the Ten of Coins. Ten of Coins is usually a home card. Even though in this card here, it represents money because he's putting money into the jar. The Ten of Coins also represents security as well. So I think that there is a little bit of a move away from this Ten of Coins this, way, this week. Or the message is that you're moving away from something that might be secure. Because this is security and this is moving away. So the message starts off with something like, Cancerians are now moving away from something that has been secure with the Ten of Coins energy showing here. Three of Wands energy here. So the Three of Wands energy... It may be that the message this week is to move away from a, a safe place. So uh, this would be probably something to do with, you know, a comfort zone. Three of Wands energy is expand your horizon. So I actually feel that the message is to move away, Cancerians, from something that has been secure for a long time. Now, when I'm talking about something that's been secure, I'm talking about something in which you may have been in for years or, you know, you may have, it feels like it's definitely a comfort zone, something that you know, something that you've been comfortable in doing, something that you've been comfortable with. But I feel that it's saying the reason that you need to move away from this Ten of Coins is because there's a need now to expand your horizons with that Three of Wands. There's a need now to look into the distance and to look at, you know, to look at things on the horizon. So really, this is about broadening your horizons with the Three of Wands energy showing here. Yes, it is, because you've got the full card sitting here. So the full card is all about new beginnings, and it's all about kind of taking a leap into the unknown. So both cards are talking about broadening your horizons here, the full and the Three of Wands energy, Page of Cups, something new. So yeah, we've got the new path of the page. We've got three cards indicating something new. Well, actually four. You had a Six of Swords, moving away from the Ten of Coins. The Ten of Coins is something that you've probably been in for a while. It's a, it's a, some form of security that you've built up, but we're seeing you move away from this now uh, 
uh, uh, cancerians. The I think the message is that it's time now to move away from something you've been in for a long time. Something that's provided security, but I think that it's saying that it's time for you to expand your horizons with that Three of Wands energy and to start afresh with the full energy on a new path with the, could it be a new creative path with that Page of Cups energy. Might also be something about it's, about it's time to move away from something that's been kind of long-term secure. Maybe there's a need to expand your horizons here in terms of with the full energy showing here. I mean, we've got two young energies showing here as well. So both energies are talking about starting something new, developing something new for the future. I think there's a need to uh, 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 expand your horizons and develop something new for the future with both cards because they're very young. So I feel that the message this week is it's time for a shift to occur, Cancer, and it's time to move on to passages new, okay? Because I think it's more about self-development than anything else for you guys that the universe is looking at. What's happening in Korea then? Again, another card about something new. So the Ace is the Ace of Wands would usually be a new job, a new opportunity showing up here. Um, okay, there's an opportunity, I think, for you to break free of something here because the Tower represents breaking free. So I think there's an opportunity, Cancerians, for you to guys to break free with that Tower energy showing here. Yeah, the Four of Cups, can you see that? They're saying kind of the same thing. It's a really amazing thing seeing your reading. It really is. The Four of Cups shows dissatisfaction. You have an opportunity coming in that's going to allow you to break free with the Tower from something you've not been particularly happy in with that Four of Cups energy showing there. Okay. Uh, the Two of Wands energy. So the Two of Wands is a card that talks about taking charge, but this can also in a work reading be a partnership or it can be a, being at a crossroads, a decision between two paths. Uh, the Emperor, two Aries cards, so taking charge, taking charge, it's time to take, your ta it's time to take charge, and I think with this Emperor to assert you, so even though Cancerians, you're not Aries, this is definitely Aries energy, this is uh, second, first Deacon in Aries, and this is, uh, this is a Aries Major Arcana card, so there's something about taking the lead, Okay, you're going to have to take charge and I think assert yourself with this Emperor energy showing here. Okay, uh, what I'm feeling that the message is through work then is that there is a now an opportunity coming in 20th to the 26th of uh, July 2020 for you to break free from a job, from a role that you're not happy in. But I think that you have to take charge with this Two of Wands energy and assert yourself in this. In other words, the opportunity comes, but if you don't take advantage of the opportunity, you'll still be stuck. The Emperor asserts himself, so he's an action taker. And the Two of Wands is at the beginning of a journey. It's taking charge of its life, of its direction. That's what the Two of Wands does. It takes charge. It sees the path ahead of it and it says, right, I'm going to take charge of this path and I'm going to make some form of, um, I'm going to make some form of um, movement along this path. So I think that for you guys, it's all about with this Two of Wands energy, taking charge and asserting yourself. The opportunity is there. The opportunity is there for you to break free of something that you're unhappy in, but you've got to take charge. And I think with the Emperor energy, really kind of assert yourself because the Emperor energy is all about trying to establish some form of order in your life. But you can, you're not going to establish anything within your life unless you're brave enough, unless you have the courage to take charge and assert yourself in this situation. Finally, let's have a look at the love reading. What is the message on love for you, Cancer? Well, the Nine of Cups will often indicate pleasure and contentment within a relationship. Let's have a look at the next one. Uh, oh, so there's a lot of pleasure here. There's a lot of contentment. Uh, both cards, both Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups talk about contentment. Both Pisces cards, though, be careful of that one in a way. I'm not going to dampen anything. Well, let's see what the other cards say. But this is very nice together anyway. The two ten, the nine and the ten here. It could also be we're going from a nine to a ten. So you're very close with that nine energy uh, to establishing Ten of Cups energy. To establishing, I think, long-term contentment within a relationship with this card. Because we go from 9 to 10. Things taking off with the 8 of Wands. Things moving. Things are advancing, I think, with this 8 of Wands energy. Yes, advancing, moving forward with the chariot showing there. Um, the Four of Cups, Four of Swords, though. That's interesting. Um, the, see, you've got an active card and a passive one. The Four of Swords, for me, often indicates uh, a, a time of withdrawal. Um in a relationship and actually cancerians that's you on the card isn't it that's you the chariot showing there so you're taking control um 
the four of swords energy there's i think there's a need for you to take control perhaps with that chariot energy i don't necessarily think that this is moving ahead i think that you're the one that you you are the ones that are in control of where this relationship goes okay perhaps i think with this four of swords it's there's a necessity or a need to really contemplate and think about what the next step will be because i think this is a brilliant reading for love i think for some of you cancerians though you may be happy you may literally be on the verge of really kind of settling down maybe into a relationship and things are advancing and moving forward with that eight of wands i do feel that you are nevertheless in control of the direction of what direction you take in this relationship and there is probably a need just to take a step back with that four of swords and contemplate the next steps within this relationship okay so let's quickly go through the cards again before we do the spiritual reading cancerians what i'm seeing here is uh in terms of your general reading i think it's time to step out of the comfort zone you've been in something that's been very secure for a long time and now it's time to move away from this with the six of swords i think the universe is telling you as a message to broaden your horizons with that three of wands energy and to start on this new fresh path with the full energy and the page of cups okay so don't be afraid to broaden your horizons i think the universe is saying that something has now become stagnant and actually because it's a 10 you've gone as far as you can go so with that Ten of Coins as well, you've established something here with the Ten of Coins, but you've gone as far as you can go, and now it's time to move out of this. You've gone as far as you can go with that Ten. Time to explore and expand your horizons. Uh, take a leap of faith into a new thing, something new, a new path here. Could be something creative. In terms of work, I'm seeing that there is an opportunity coming for you to break free from something you've not been particularly happy in. But I think that you're the one, again, it keeps saying that you're the one that's in control of this. The whole reading smacks of it that you're in control of, whether it be the general situation, your work or your love life. I think it's saying that you have the opportunity to break free from something you've not been happy in, but you have to take charge of this, okay? You're going to have to assert yourself. The opportunity will be there, but unless you act on it, nothing happens and things stay the same. Finally, for your love reading, I'm seeing your one step away. I'm seeing a lot of kind of pleasure, a lot of contentment in love and things are advancing forward. But I feel that, and actually I'm going to change that chariot there. What happens with the chariot? Because your cancer, this is you, okay? So you've got the reins of this. Now you can see that these horses, like the eight of wands, are moving forward. Uh, by very very fast can you see how quickly they move ahead look how they want to move can you see that look at those horses there all right now even though he's kind of got the whip at the horses to go faster i think the universe is saying because we've got a fast card here there's a lot of pleasure and contentment in a relationship for some of you guys and things are moving they're actually for some of you guys they may be advancing quite quickly but i think with the chariot now what it's actually saying is it's up to you to rein things in though okay with the four of swords and it, now the four of swords it could be that there's a need to rein things in before this energy here kind of runs out because the four of swords is one of those cards that indicates things are kind of dwindling down all right this, there's a passivity to there's no action here with the four of swords energy showing here so this is a lack of action with the four of swords there's a, a there's a need to draw back i think i think there's a need to rein things in it's fine because things seem to be going very nice you're happy in a relationship you know, um, there's a lot of contentment here. Things are advancing quickly. But I think the universe wants you to rein things in a little bit. Perhaps before somebody kind of gets a bit bored or that type of thing with the four of swords. Or there's a need with the chariot to, even though things are moving at a very quick pace, and it might feel good to you, there's a need to rein things in and probably do a little bit of inner reflection on this. Okay, so I think that the cards are saying to review whatever relationship you're in at the moment. If things are moving too fast, rein them in a little bit and do a little bit of self-reflection on to, in terms of where it's going for the long term because you never know with relationships sometimes it feels good to move really fast in on something but then you've hit all those points you've met each other's parents maybe on the second week you've slept together by the third some people do it quicker than that fair enough that's up to them but sometimes within relationships if you hit all of those points really really fast then there's nothing to build on afterwards because you've just done everything really quickly. So I think for some of you guys, it's it's a, there's a need, even though you're feeling quite happy and contented within a relationship, things are moving really fast and really nice. It feels really good. There's a need, I think, because this is you on the card, definitely here, uh, Cancerians, to rein things in just a little bit and do a bit of inner reflection in terms of where you want to be in, say, a year's time or six months' time. Let's have a quick look at the spiritual advice cards then. So firstly, for the um, 
Firstly, for the uh, crazy, sexy love notes, we've got the, the uh, card that says that there is a need for you to unplug. Okay, so uh, basically recharge your soul batteries by unplugging from the digital world. Connect with yourself by disconnecting from distractions such as other people's to-do lists. Take a stroll. The best way to generate fresh and innovative ideas is to balance the virtual and natural world. The birds and the trees have just as much to teach you as the internet. Fantastic. Okay, that's your spiritual message from the crazy sexy love notes. Uh, also, I forget to mention, oh, I'll mention it in a moment. Let's do the colour. What colour do you need to focus on? Oh my goodness, the same as, um, the same as Scorpio. So enjoy clear hearing. All right, I'll just quickly, I'm not going to read you all of it because we'll be here forever if I do, but uh, number 43. Okay, let's have a look at number 43. The message for you guys is um, focus your attention on your ears this week, uh, Cancerians. Do they feel clear or blocked? Ask yourself, is there anything that I don't want to hear? Your ears are intelligent and may try to block out information you're avoiding. The next time you're around someone who is saying something hurtful or upsetting to you, imagine Marv, Ray's, moving through your left ear to push anything dense or unclear out through your right ear and into a fire that dissipates the negativity. Do the same thing with your right ear, then surround yourself with loving and encouraging people. You need to say, as a mantra this week, guys, divine intelligence, please allow me to listen to and apply my divine wisdom. And uh, what you need to focus on attracting in this week, two cards came out. One that is the empowerment card. You need to focus on attracting an empowerment and security. These are the mantras. Take a good look at them, screenshot them, or just freeze them and write it down, okay? Or well, yeah, or just take a screenshot and you can look at it every day. Firstly, for empowerment, say this mantra, Cancerians, I recognize and appreciate all that inspires me to feel empowered and for your security, I choose to feel secure and to work so that my bank account is full. Fantastic. Finally, I forgot to mention Cancer. Um, on all the other readings, except for the water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, basically um, nobody's got these cards yet. I just had these arrive a few hours ago and I thought, oh, this would be a good one to add to kind of the spiritual advice for the week. So it's the Chinese fortune reading cards. They're really good. I tried them out as soon as I got them and they were really accurate with a couple of things with me. So this is what the universe wants you to focus on. And uh, finally, so it's hope. This week, card number 32. And we're going to get the book out on this because it focuses on uh, hope in terms of general meaning, uh, hope in terms of your work career, and also hope in terms of love. So we're going to get card number 32 up, and I'm just going to read to you what it's saying here. So the focus this week will be for hope, okay? Um, so there we go, generally. So general, hope is exactly what you need to embrace now, Cancerians. Have you gained a lot of wisdom through life's recent experiences and are you ready to embrace your next chapter? You will be more adaptable to change and more decisive than before. Expansion and personal growth is likely. For your career and finances, which is here. So that was alluding to this. And actually, it's an interesting one that this talks about. Uh, you have gained a lot of wisdom through life's recent experiences and are ready to embrace your next chapter. This is the next chapter. You've gone as far as you can go with that ten of coins. And now what we're seeing is this shift, this movement and expanding your horizons. Okay, you will be more adaptable to change and more decisive than before. Expansion and personal growth is likely. There you go. I spoke about expansion, expanding your horizons because you've gone as far as you can go with that ten of coins. You've achieved everything that you can and now it's time for movement and expansion. So spot on with what it's saying here about this area. Let's have a look at what it's saying for career and finances. So your, your, um, your uh, Chinese uh, fortune card, Hope, is saying a luckier period emerging in terms of career and finances a highly creative time could see a hobby or a new skill turn into a money-making opportunity wow your enthusiastic new energy will see to it that you are ripe for change and ready to take action like never before fantastic that's absolutely amazing and that's what i'm saying there's an opportunity for you to break free through break free from the humdrum of a job the four of cups is boredom so with the Four of Cups, you're like, oh, I'm bored of this. You know, there's just nothing here for me. I'm really bored and there's got to be something else. But the universe is saying to you, and it could be correlating with this one here, where we're seeing that you've done as much as you can do with that Ten of Coins. You've got as far as you can go. It's time now to move and to broaden your horizons. And the universe, if we factor that into here, it's saying, well, there's an opportunity for you to break free of the humdrum. So if you've gone as far as you can go with that Ten of Coins, 
and you're kind of bored, well, a new opportunity is coming in for you to, that enables you to break free from this energy here. But you have to take action with the Two of Wands, you know? The Two of Wands is taking action, all right? So the Two of Wands is you have to take charge with this, the Two of Wands energy. Put yourself in a place of authority. Take charge. Take dominion. This is the Lord of Dominion. Take dominion off your, you know, off, off your road, off your path. Take charge of it. Take charge of your life. Start asserting yourself and start establishing and building some form of a structure here. It's time to take charge and start building a structure with the Emperor Energy. And I think it's saying here, you know, a highly creative time could see a hobby or a new skill turned into a money-making opportunity. Your enthusiastic new energy will see to it that you are ripe for change and ready to take action, as I mentioned, like never before. Finally, in terms of love, I've got a beautiful relationship here, but things may be moving very quickly and it's time to take the reins in. This is things moving quickly. It's time to rein things in here and really kind of do a review of this relationship and where it's going. In relationships, it says you will find the need to be around new people and feel rather restless. Travel is ideal for making new friends and if single, expect to meet someone born overseas or who lives at a distance. Wow, so that's something else turning up in the reading. I mean, that can definitely be overseas and that one can as well. But how I was reading that is it just felt like it was much more of a kind of linear story showing up there. But the additional thing for love is travel is ideal for making new friends and if single, expect to meet someone born overseas or who lives at a distance. Exciting times for a family and positive thoughts and actions will be well rewarded. Fantastic. Amazing, amazing reading. Amazing reading, uh, Cancerians. I'd like to say thanks ever so much, Cancerians, for joining me on Carol's Universe. If you would like your own private reading, click in the link in the comment section below or the end screen, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, guys. Love you. God bless. Bye.